Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. In this video, I'm going to be redrawing an artwork I did almost two years ago. It is this drawing of Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan. So I'm going to redraw it and see if I've actually improved over the past two years. Hopefully I have, because that would be pretty depressing if I haven't. Two years well spent practicing. Before I get on with the drawing, this video is sponsored by Mastrop. I don't know why I made that voice. I should probably be more serious for a sponsored video, otherwise I'll get in trouble. <clears throat> Serious voice. Mastrop is a community-driven commerce platform. They make products with input from their members and give them a place to connect, learn, and shop with people who share their interests. All right, that's enough joking around. In all seriousness, I think Mastrop is actually a really cool service. The difference between Mastrop and a regular online shop is that with Mastrop, the community of online users get to vote on the products which they want to be made available. When lots of people sign up for a drop, the price of the product goes down. So the more people who want to buy something, the cheaper it's going to be. Basically, you get close to wholesale prices when a lot of people want to buy them. The main thing which I really like about Mastrop is that it's a community of enthusiasts. So the products which become available there are generally all really high quality. I'm going to share with you guys some of the products and categories I'm excited about on Mastrop at the end of the video, but right now, let's get back into the drawing. When it comes to the line work of an anime style drawing like this, something that I think is really important and often overlooked by newer artists is having a variety of thicknesses of line. So you want some thick areas and then some really fine areas as well and it just creates a really nice contrast and will make your drawing look a lot more compelling and interesting. And I think that's really prevalent in Attack on Titan artwork. If you've seen the anime or the manga, you'll notice they have really bold outlines and it just creates a really impactful image. It feels bold and it really stands out. So while I personally like to have some thin lines as well, I definitely tried to have some thicker areas along the outlines of this piece. I kind of did that with my first Levi drawing as well, but kind of looking back on it now, I feel like I could have had a little bit more thickness to certain areas. Maybe not just a whole solid outline, the same thickness, but having just a couple of spots that kind of thicken up and it just makes the line work look a bit more dynamic, in my opinion at least. There are always so many different styles you can take with your drawings, so if you don't really like that look, then don't do it. There's not really a right or a wrong way of doing it, it's just personal preference, but it's something worth experimenting with. I know when I first did anime drawings, I didn't really think to do it, it just didn't really occur to me for some reason, but when I started studying other artists' artworks a bit more, kind of looking into some of the techniques they were using, I decided to try it for myself, and ever since then, I always incorporate it, at least in some capacity, into my drawings. Not always super thick outlines, but having at least a little bit of variety is always helpful. I coloured the skin a bit different in this piece, mainly in regards to where the shadows are falling on the face, this time around, he's got the shadow on the left side of his face, and I kind of brought in purples throughout the whole piece. I just felt like it creates a really interesting look. I really like purples, and I think they work really well in shadows, instead of just using a black. Having the strong shadows on the side of his face creates more depth to the artwork. You've got the highlights on the right side of his face, where it's nice and pale, and then that contrasts really well with the shadows on the left-hand side. It just makes the drawing look a lot more 3D, and depending on what style you're going for, that can be really effective with anime-style drawings. I think it also works well because he's got a really dark, brooding look, and having the shadows just really complements that, and sticks with the dark theme of the piece. When it comes to colouring blood, I feel like I have refined those techniques that I use since my previous drawing. It's a lot grittier, 
a bit darker as well. In my first drawing of Levi, I think that was when I was really starting to get the hang of drawing blood. Since then, I've just tweaked it a little bit. I think I generally draw it a little bit darker, but apart from that, it's pretty close. Now I just add a little bit more texture, have some kind of pooling effects and where the blood would dry around the outsides. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think it looks a little bit better. Maybe not two years of practice better, but a little bit better? I think the big thing to remember here is getting good at any skill isn't a quick process. When you first start learning, you will improve quicker, but over the years, as you improve, it's kind of just diminishing returns. I don't mean to discourage anyone. It takes time to get good at anything, and that's especially true with art. So over the years, I'm going to slowly progress, but as long as you're progressing, you're heading in the right direction, so you really can't complain. Just keep improving at your own pace. Don't get too annoyed at yourself if you feel like you're progressing too slow. You can always practice more if you're getting frustrated, but definitely don't give up because if you give up, you're not going to progress at all. So stick with it, keep getting your slight improvements over time, and eventually you'll get really good. It's kind of as simple as that. Something that I really struggled with this piece was colouring his hair. Oh, I was really worried. You'll notice I skipped out a bunch of the process. First I started by doing the highlights under his hair, kind of the oranges and purples, that type of thing, and then I go over it with black. Now I turned the camera off there because I was getting stressed out that it wasn't going to work out at all. I was like, the rest of the drawing was going pretty well. And now, I've completely stuffed up the hair. Great. So, I managed to kind of fix it up, salvage it. It looks pretty okay by the end of it, but it was a rough process. And I was really worried. <laughs> I did remember the same thing happened the last time I drew Levi, so I didn't worry too much. I figured I'd be able to fix it up and it'd look fine by the end of it. That's just kind of the artistic process sometimes. You need to trust yourself that it's all going to come together by the end. A lot of my artworks look really ugly in the kind of middle stages, and it's not until you add the last shading bits, you add the highlights, you smooth it all out, and then it all comes together. So if you're the type of person who gives up on a lot of drawings halfway through, I definitely recommend to just try and stick it out and finish it because the amount of times I've been surprised at an artwork which I thought was kind of doomed and looked like it was going to turn out terribly actually came together really nicely by the end. That's given me a lot of confidence throughout all these drawings. Because I make these videos for you guys, I know that I have to get the drawings done. I can't just procrastinate and set them aside and not finish them. As soon as I start colouring them, I commit myself to finishing it. I do have a bunch of line works which I have not coloured yet. But that's a different story. When I start colouring it, then I always finish it. So don't judge me. I know there's a bunch of people who keep requesting me to finish these certain line works. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe one day there's still hope. But not much hope, let's be honest. <laughs> there are a few different stylistic choices you'll notice reoccurring in a bunch of my newer drawings. Like the dripping effects and the smoky effects in the background. I also like to use my white gel pen to do highlights and add more texture. That's just something that I really like the look of, having a grimy textured look. I try to incorporate that into all of my drawings now, and I think it really distinguishes my drawings from a bunch of the other fan art out there. I'm definitely not saying mine is better or anything like that. I just want people to be able to look at my artwork and recognise that it's a Jordan Persigardi artwork. It's just nice to have a certain consistency throughout your art portfolio. That definitely doesn't mean don't try different styles and sometimes do something completely different to your regular style. Not at all, but I definitely like to have a certain consistency, at least in the quality of the artworks. 
So to wrap this video up, I think I have improved, at least a little bit. But the big way that I actually have noticeably improved is the speed in which I do these drawings. My art process is so much quicker than it used to be, say five years ago, two years ago. I know what techniques to use, I know what colours work well together, and all these little things just speed up the drawing process a lot more. I don't have to stop and think for a long time, trying to figure out what's going to work, how I'm going to do this. I just kind of know from experience, and that's something I'm still going to speed up even more. As you gain knowledge of your craft, confidence comes with that with confidence, speed comes with that, and it just feels a lot more natural. So don't be frustrated when you start out and you feel like all your drawings take ages to finish. Art isn't a quick process, but as you get better, it becomes quicker and less stressful. It just comes naturally to a certain extent. But to get to that natural state, you have to learn it the hard way, I guess. Learn through practice and applying those different techniques. I hope this video is encouraging. While it might not look like I've improved that much over the past two years, it was a little bit less than two years, but two years sounds better in the title, so we're going with that. I still have improved, and I want to encourage you guys to keep practicing, and don't give up if you feel like you haven't improved that much over the year. Over time, you'll notice a difference. So, best of luck with all your art. I've got heaps more drawing videos coming. Quickly before I end the video, I just want to thank Massdrop again for sponsoring the video. It really helps my channel out and I also appreciate you guys who are understanding of that when I do sponsored videos. My three favourite categories on Massdrop are the audio file headphone section where they have really awesome headphones. I love listening to music when I draw. And also for you guys who are into my creepy pasta videos, having amazing audio with a good set of headphones makes all the difference. It's worth investing in. Trust me, you won't regret it if you get a good set of headphones. Another category which I really like at the moment is the hobbies section. I've really been into board games lately, so it's kind of fun to scout that out and see when new drops are happening, if some new board games are out. They're just a lot of fun and I like sitting around with friends playing board games. It's just something I've been into lately. And the last category is their calligraphy pens. They've got a really awesome selection of pens which I've never seen before and they look so good. So if you've been inspired by Inktober which happened recently and you want to get a nice inking pen to maybe do some of your own drawings, definitely have a look at that. I'm sure you'll find something that you really like. But with that being said, check out Massdrop if that's something that interests you. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video. Drawing, which doesn't look so bland because you've only got three colours. I'm going to continue on with the drawing, I hope you guys enjoy watching the process as it all comes together. Now I'm going to jump into a horror story and read that for you guys. So put your headphones on, dim the lights, and let's get into it.